the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. It matters what you know. That's why he said his will for all men and saving come to the knowledge of truth. Because you know. You get turned off for that. You get turned off because you 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 hate. You think it's okay to hate. Well, as long as you know, whatever you heard, you are, if you don't turn around and start loving people, respecting people, get along with people, then you're on the highway of destruction. You know, Christ said, Mom, not you must be born again. You must be born again. And a tree is known by fruit. Were you born again? Let your tree, let your fruit tell me that you're born again. Come on, saint. Don't be an ain't. Come on. What is it right here? Thou shalt not kill. Who are you to sit there and kill your fellow man knowing that you knowing that he said thou shalt not kill. I always trip about that. I trip about it even when you're talking to police people doing traffic stop, normal traffic stop, and end up killing somebody. And they go sit there and say, well, you know, I, 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 I was legal and it was justified. But was it legal in the eyes of God? Because they said thou shalt not kill me, thou shalt not commit murder. You, you you kill somebody, you murder somebody. And I ain't talking about just him, them. I'm talking about how many of you that are church going people that fits into that category. And I'm gonna tell you something, you're not church born people, you are wolves wearing sheep clothing. And you need to change. You sitting there trying to go after people going to the club when you sitting there killing somebody. You kill somebody out of hate. If you hate somebody, the Bible says he who hates is a murderer. And no one murderer has eternal life or binds in him. What, are you that? Are you that? It does not take, it's not hard to be a believer. Just seek to do his will. It's not hard to get to heaven. Just do his will. He opened the door for every last one of us to go to heaven. All we have to do is look at these things. Thou should not kill. Can you can you not just murder? Can you just not murder somebody? Can you not not hurt hate somebody? Can you just do that? Can you do that? Can you take that out of your toolbox? For he who hates is a murderer. And no murderer has eternal life of bodies anyhow. Some of you did some bad things to people. And some of you did it because they told you to do it over and over. They passed it from generation to generation. How many of those people do you think? What, what did they do when they go before God? I asked somebody the other day was talking. The fact is that they want to change some of the curriculum and change some of the history or ignore some of the history because it makes some people feel bad. If it makes your children think, I want y'all somebody to understand this too. And while we, we'll, as we wrap this up, if it makes your children feel bad, what does that mean when you come go before God? I ain't talking about the children that make you feel bad. I'm talking about the people who did it. What do you think that happened to all those people that did those things? If it makes your children feel bad, what do you think happened to them when they confronted or met God? on day of judgment. If it makes your children feel bad, where are those people now? That's sad, isn't it? But we 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 endorsed it. We encouraged it. We encourage it some of it now. Some of you sit there and you hate somebody because of the color of skin. You hate somebody because they're look, look hey, you hate somebody because of sexual orientation. And you can sit there and say, I'm gonna hate that person. Is that worth going at? Why would you, if, they, if they're going to, if you believe somebody's going to hell because of or, orientation, why you want to go with them? But that doesn't make sense to me. In other words, you never stop 
being and doing God's will, regardless of whether somebody else is doing the opposite of God's will. You don't want to go the same direction they're going. That's the that's the point. Thou should not kill. How about this? Thou should not commit adultery. And that's the thing about that is that most of you, male or female, if somebody committed adultery on you, or somebody sit there and you have a relationship and they cheat on you, you do not appreciate it. You don't like it. You're angry. And some people have killed people because of that. So why, how would you sit there and think that it's okay to do that? Oh, I'm going to heaven, but I'm gonna commit adultery. I'm a man. I'm a woman. You know, I have urges and needs. I'm going to just do it. Mm. You don't repent from it. I'm on the highway. I'm just telling you. Think about it. You really do need to think about it. I'm just telling you, think about it from your own perspective of who you want. You want. It's not hard to get in time. Is, is, it, is it okay not to do these things? How about this one? Thou shalt not steal or kidnap. My, one of my, my son would talk about, he said, and I don't have a problem, that's, that's kidnapping is stealing too. Taking something that don't belong to you. Thou shall not steal. And when you take somebody's identity, when you take somebody's freedom, when you take things from people, you, you oppress people, you, 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 you discriminate against people, you take their rights away from them, you find ways to oppress their ability to do what they need to do, thou shalt not steal. Who gave you the permission to do that? How about this, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor? Meaning don't lie to about somebody, but how many of us, when you sit there and call an entire group of people, whether they're black or white, and you sit there and say, they're all liars and thieves and murderers, they're all ignorant, they're all lazy. When you sit there and say that, and he sit there and said, thou shalt not bear false when against thy neighbor, uh, then you are on the highway. I'm just telling you, if you don't repent, everybody got exit. There's exit ramps all through your life. But if you want to stay on that road or highway to hell, then you keep doing these things. Now, some of you say, well, I don't like the fact you're talking about it's hell. Well, well, when we, the Bible, the Bible talks about it. The Bible does. You, I don't know what you want me to say. The Bible does. So the fact is that broad is the way to destruction, but narrow is the path of righteousness. These, these, are not th these are the things that you should not be doing anyway. These are things that should easily not be done. Shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? It should be easy not to kill somebody. It should be easy not to hate somebody. It should be easy not to bear false witness against somebody. It should be easy for that. It should be easy not to commit adultery. It should be easy. These things right here, you can, all of us can do. Those four things right there, all of us can do. And if you tell me you can't do that, you need to tell me why. You need to tell me why. And you, you need to go to God and say, Lord, this is a stronghold I need to get rid of. But I'm telling you something, this stealing, this killing, and bear false witness. I know y'all got an issue with this. This one, you got a sexual sin. That's an issue that you all got to work on. That's a stronghold you need to work on. Because it does hurt other people, too. And it hurts God. But the fact is that thou should not commit adultery. He also said is that's a spiritual level, not sitting there worshiping. When you worship something else other than God, you commit adultery. That's a spiritual adultery. You put something else before God. He said that in the top commandments, right? Thou shalt put no other God before me. No bow down to it. Some of us have committed spiritual adultery. And I ain't talking about with a, with a woman or with a man. I'm talking about with other belief systems that we put above God. Even our political parties. Some of us have put our political parties above the will of God. For your life. You really need to think about that. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. Thou shalt nor his man serve, nor his maid serve, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. Can we do that? Can you work on those things? Can you work on the basic? Can you work on the fact is that Christ's will is to love one another? It is, it is a challenge, but I know we can do it. So that's all I'm going to sit down. I'm going to leave it with that. I want you to have a great day, great week, great life. 
Don't fall into the traps where people sit there and think it's okay to hate somebody. It's okay to murder somebody. It's okay to suppress somebody. It's okay to bear false witness against somebody. It's not okay. So let's stop doing that and start doing what is right. Let's go the way that Christ taught us. He died for the ungodly. What's that mean to you? That means that he died for you, and therefore whatever sacrifice you can do to help somebody that's ungodly to come into the kingdom, and you have the patience to do it, then you're doing good. But if you don't have the patience, and you want to sit there and hate somebody, you want to sit there and allow them to be hurt and abused and lynched and all that. It's not just slavery. It's, it's, it's more than that. It's how you look at life, period. Political divide and everything else. Forgiveness. It's, it's easy to do it if you sit there and let it be done. Do His will. Not your will, not my will, but let his will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Let us allow our light to shine because we can let our light shine. This is not a challenge. And I know some people don't want to talk about going to hell, but the Bible talks about that. So I'm, I can't leave it out. But I am leaving out the fact is that you cannot bear bad fruit and continue to sit there and say, I'm going his way. I'm more focused on that. I ain't focused on your pot. I ain't focused on your little uh, dance clubs and drinking your whiskey. I, no, I ain't endorsing it either. But the fact is, I'm not putting, no, I'm not saying those are the things that put you in jeopardy. The things that put you in jeopardy, <laughs> the things that put you in jeopardy is the things of the flesh, the cardinal pieces all together. And you're sitting there and you're doing that and you, you, you're not listening. You're not listening. So this week I'm gonna sit there and try to cover it, but you you gotta understand if you don't love one another as he has told you, you got issues. He says here in first John 410, herein is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the perpetuation of our sin. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. That's what I'm talking about. No man has seen God at any time. Listen to that. Listen to that. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us. And his love is perfected in us. Hereby we know that we love and we, that we dwell here. Look at this, verse 13. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he has given us his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world. Not of your parties or of your color skin. Who suffers to confess that Jesus, Yeshua, is the son of God? God dwells in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and he that dwells in love dwells in God, and God in him. So I'm trying to say, if you sit there and hate somebody because of their differences, you're not dwelling in love. Then that means you're not dwelling in God. And if you're not dwelling in God, then your path is already set. Here is, is love. Not that we love God, but he loved us and sent his son to be the pitway to our sin, right? All right, next slide. Here is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. So if you're hating somebody, are you, in, are you he, like him? There is no fear in love. So when people talk about, remember how some of the, the, the uh, political affiliations and stuff talks about fear. Nothing's happened, but they try to put fear in you. Well, you know people are trying to put fear in you, so there's no fear in love. 
But perfect love casts out fear. Because fear has torment. He that fears is not made perfect in love. And yet you see people try to use fear to help discriminate, to help attack and hurt somebody. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God and hate his brother, if a man say, I love God and hate his brother, if a man say he loved God and hate his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God who he has not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loved God loved his brother also. John 3.15 said, Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer, like I said before. And we know that no murderer had no, listen, I'm just trying to tell you, listen, look at the scriptures for itself, doggone it, just read it for yourself. Open your ears and listen. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abides in him, meaning he's going to highway to hell. That's what they're saying. Don't get depressed and looking at it. You don't have to go that way. Love people, just love them. Learn to love people. You can love them from a distance, love them from a distance, but don't sit there and hate people. Don't sit there and try to hurt people, abuse people. Love people. Hereby receive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. That's, that's the gospel. That's the gospel. You can love people. You get the permission to love people. They went to the club, love them. Don't sit there and hate them. If, they sit, if they're different, don't hate them. If they don't have the same color of your skin, don't hate them. They're all a masterpiece of God. We all are. That's what all the different colors of skin is for. It's a masterpiece of God. The cat, there's a black cat, there's a brown cat, there's a white cat, there's a, there's a you know, all color cats, all color dogs, all color of, of, of birds. It's a masterpiece of God. And yet the world teaches how to hate one another. I'm telling you, don't. I'm telling you, we can love one another. We can be on this road of life, eternal life in Christ. We can do it. Instead of figuring out how we can, trying to figure out how we can hate somebody. How can we have unforgiveness for somebody? Let's learn to love one another. And like I said, you can love them from a distance. You want to, I love you. Stay over there though, because you're crazy. <laughs> you're going to hurt me. I'll, you stay over there. But I'm not going to discriminate you. I'm not going to lie and bear false witness. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to steal from you or deny you the same rights and privileges I have. You're not going to do that because that's not love. Yeah, I know people taught you differently. But let's go by what the word says. Amen. All right. Well, God bless you. I hope you have a great week. And I will see you when I see you. I may come up during the week do some uh, studies and stuff like that but I really appreciate your time listening and uh, remember Yeshua Christ and Jesus as long as we know who he is we're in the right path we're going to heaven not because we're perfect because we love one another and even the atheists can say they agree with that we just love one another amen all right God bless you, and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Appreciate you. Bye bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.